You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and no, you're not seeing double. <laughs> you have Lynn Smith with me talking about all the great events that happen in the, with the Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association, the Keith Park Neighborhood Association, and over in Camp Pelham. Nice to see you again, Good to Lynn. see you, Mark, Thanks as for well. being here. Um, I'm going to go maybe in date order, mm -hmm. just so we don't uh, lose track. But we'll start with the Keith Park Neighborhood Association. Mm -hmm. And um, let's put it this way. We're, we're in March. Mm -hmm. uh, March, April is right around the corner. Spring is right around the corner. We can count the days. Let's hope the weather stays good. But there are already bunnies with glasses popping up on Facebook <laughs> on, on the local level. So the Keith Park Neighborhood Association, you're talking about your Easter egg hunt. We are. And you know, do you believe this is the fourth annual Easter egg hunt? And you know, it was kind of sad this week, the passing of Chief Hayden, Bob Hayden passed. And I dug out all the pictures that I had of him in the egg and spoon race. He right. came he sure uh, with did. his sons and ran with the kids in the egg and spoon race. So we'll pause and make sure that we think about him. But yes, Easter this year is April 16th. So we always do our egg hunt the day before. It's April 15th from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. It goes really quickly. And because Keith Park is still under renovation, it will be again this year at the Fruth Center Gym, which is at 891 Montello Street. That's right in back of the First Evangelical Lutheran Church. So Saturday the 15th, 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the Fruth Center Gym. It's free for children. It's really appropriate for kids, I would say, 12 and under. Okay, 12 and under. So um, it also is not subject to weather. So no, because it's inside. Even if the park wasn't being done, it gets sketchy yeah. a little bit. It, you know, you want to start seeing the crocuses and seeing the flowers, yeah. the, the trees and the birds, and everybody are all confused this winter. They have no clue what's no going on. No idea. But you have all this information up there. You have, I saw some of the pictures on mm -hmm. probably your personal Facebook, but you have a Facebook uh, site for the Keith Park Neighborhood We have a Facebook page and we also have a website. It's a free website. So it's kpnabrockton.weebly.com because Weebly is the free hosting. So kpnabrockton.weebly.com or just go to Facebook Keith Park Neighborhood Association. And free is good. And a free is good. So April 15th. The other thing you do on April 15th is usually I that's know. when you file your taxes and you owe. But so, I think when it's on a Saturday, do you have a couple of extra days? We maybe? might. We get Patriots yeah. Day and all of that stuff in Massachusetts. We're, we're privileged. Yeah. Who knows? But, you know, when the kids come in, they check in. We start out with an arts and crafts um, table. I mean, how can you not go home with a paper plate bunny? Or how can you not go home without a paper plate um, check? And, you know, these are the kids' hands right. that they um, that they trace out. So we'll do an arts and craft, then you go to the egg and spoon race, and then we scatter 500 eggs everywhere in the gym. Have to pick up one of each color, then you get a free photo with the Easter Bunny, and then, thanks to our wonderful supporters, everybody goes home with a little bunny bag full of sweet treats. So Vincente's gives us juice boxes, Ocean Spray gives us um, craisins. Who gave money this year for the candy? Um, Steve Hook, Ray Henningsen, Joyce Asak, um, Kathy Rose, Cindy, um, what's Cindy's last name? I forget, but I'll think of it in a minute. I mean, so many people chipped in, you know, small dollars. So we'll fill the, the bag with sweet treats for the kids um, to take home. And free is good, like I said. So let's flip ahead a couple more weeks, 15 days later. We're going to shift over to the Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association, and on April 30th, you have your plant and seed swap. That's right, and this is our second annual. So the community garden is at 95 Frederick Douglass Avenue, right in back of Firestone. A lot of people know it as the old High Street. And so we'll do a quick cleanup in the garden the Saturday before. And then that plant and seed swap is Sunday, and it's April 30th. It's 12.30 to 3. And what happens is groups come. So the Brockton Garden Club comes, South Shore Gardeners with George, uh, South Shore Gardeners buy, sell, and trade come. South of Boston Gardeners with George Stanfield comes, and they all bring seeds from their gardens, bare root plants, little seedlings. Oh, the farm at Stonehill comes with seedlings, 
and it's like a baseball swap. Everybody sort of swaps plants with each other mm. and tries different things in their garden. We have a local beekeeper who comes so people can purchase um, honey from a local bee farm. And Good Samaritan Hospital comes, Good Samaritan Medical Center. Last year they did skin safety, and this year they're going to talk about the gift of organ donation and how important it is. Okay, so... Uh, that is April 30th, 1230 to 3, the plant and seed swap. It's over at 95 Frederick Douglass Avenue, or what people used to know as High Street. That's right near Warren Avenue behind the Firestone right. Service Center there because they're, they're the ones that made it possible to have right. that area. What used to be known way back in the day as Patty's Lane. Yeah, that's okay? right. Which is adjacent to the uh, Messiah Baptist, Baptist Church. Church, yep, so, and there's plenty of free parking on a Sunday because the city parking lots are empty. And easy website, Douglas with two S's, douglasbrockton.org has all the information. Boy, Douglas has made quite a uh, resurgence know. this year, at least nationally. And <laughs> do you know next year is the 200th anniversary of his birth, and we're going to be participating in the One Million Abolitionist Project. So I'll come back someday and tell you about that. Doesn't he look good for 200 years old? He sure does. <laughs> and he's, and he's, he's all over the Internet. He's all over the Internet. Got to quote him. So um, wonderful community, family things, and both of them are... Um, neighborhood organizations. I think I have about uh, two minutes left. I'm going to give you one. There's an event way forward in June, June 11th as a matter of fact. Let's tease it, I guess, yeah. a little bit and then I'll bring you back on. We'll yeah, it, it, it's something we're really excited about. It's another grant that we got from Mass Humanities. So it's a collaboration of the Brockton Historical Society and the Keith Park Neighborhood Association and we're calling it a Campello pop-up village. We're going to recreate Campello of 1917. Think Plymouth Plantation, think Sturbridge Village. But the villagers will be folks who lived in Campello in 1917, new immigrants, new business owners. What was it like to be a resident of Campello then? Talking to the folks of today. So right now, we just want you to save the date of June 11th, it's a Sunday, June 11th from 12 to 6, it's going to be at Nelson Playground next to South Middle School. But what I want to do is if anyone would like to come and volunteer and learn about Campello and be a villager from 1917, we're looking for village volunteers. And if there are any organizations or companies out there that would like to come and set up a table and talk about their history. One of our um, sponsors, for example, one of our donors is Barbour Welting, who was a company that was in business back then. There you go. And we've got great support from so many different um, organizations, the Housing Authority, the Campello Business Association, Metro South Chamber of Commerce, Crescent Credit Union, of course, Churchill Linen, Copeland Toyota. We're going to bring you back for that. It's going to be great. Tell real quick, real, real quick. The website for that. Yeah, we just created a brand new website for that. So let me find it so that I do it right. I have it. It's oh, good. Campello pop up dot weebly dot com. Yep. So the word Campello with two L's pop up dot weebly dot com. Um, June eleventh, Sunday, twelve to six. We'll have more information on you. Thanks, Lynn. Thanks, Always Mark. a pleasure. Okay. Appreciate it. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.